In this tutorial, I'm going to be going over the Z modeler. You can see if we're in brush over here, it's kind of grayed out. And we're going to be doing this with bevel. Um, if you have a polymesh 3D star selected, you can come down to Intelize and press Q cube. And then we're going to drag out. And we have the polyframes on. If we right click over face, any face, we will get different options. So if I right click over here, um, I've been messing with it earlier. By default, it's set like this. And you can go ahead and extrude that face by just clicking and dragging. Um, actually, you don't even need to come over and press extrude, but if you want to, you can. As you can see, it's got its own poly group. It's green. If I select down here and click, it'll be green. If I come over and click, 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 and go up, they're all poly group. What I did was control shift click. I have the control key and shift key held down, then I click the group. So, what I want to do is I want to bevel this face, this face, and this face only okay um, I'm gonna show you how to fix something um, there's more than one way of doing things so I'm just gonna give you an example so I want to bevel them three faces only so I'll right click and I want to bevel by default it's set to single polys but I got it over here on poly group all so if I go ahead and go onto a face and drag well, it's working everywhere I want to, but over here at the bottom, I don't want that. I want three faces, and but it's trying to do it to four, trying to build it to one. Control Z that. One of the ways is making temporary groups. You can do that by holding the Alt key and clicking on a face. And you can see the colors change. Now when I go ahead and bevel that, that will work like that, which is perfect. Let's control Z that. Now you can see that they're all still temporarily polygrouped. So I'm going to control Z that back. Control Z, control Z. Well, if you have a lot of extrusions and you want to uh, fix that area, well, that's going to be a lot of alt clicking to make temporarily groups. Let's say I had about 30 extrusions, that's going to be a lot of clicking just to fix that little problem there. The way that you can do this, I'll show you here right now. Is, uh, let me go show the problem area again, is this bottom one, and I don't want that affected, is right click over face, and then we're going to go ahead and mask that. And we're going to click to make sure that we get around here, and kind of mask that very well. Right click over face, and we're going to go ahead and bevel that. And hopefully the three surfaces will bevel at the same time. The mask area will stay like it is, which it did. Then we're going to clear mask and we're done. <coughs> now, if we extrude again, oops, control Z that. Extrude. If we extrude again, we are still in the green poly group and it's going to affect everything that's still in that group. So if we right click here and we try to uh, bevel that. It's going to try doing everything, which I do not want. Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. So when we are going to extrude this, you want to click and drag. Then we're going to tap the Alt key. You can keep on tapping it till you want to change it to a color that you like. Because when I earlier, it kind of looked kind of reddish matching that one. So I wanted to change that. So let me do that again. So if I'm pulling out, say I don't like the purple. And that's too close to the uh, red, so I'm going to tap it again, the Alt key, to it changes colors to something I like. And it's going to make its own little group for that. And when I go ahead and bevel that, it should bevel just the two that are in that group, which it just did. Uh, another thing that you can do is we're going to go into the geometry. And there's dynamic geometry. If we turn this on, it's kind of rounded. Uh, there's this quick grid here. here. And as soon as I move this past zero, we're going to get some options that are going to get enabled. 
As you can see there, we'll just go ahead and turn that right there for a second. So we're going to get something like that. You can use the chamfer and use the coverage. And I want all my cubes to kind of look beveled when I extrude them. So what you can do is just go to the hoop over face, right click, and we want to extrude that single poly. Then we can just kind of click away. If you don't like it, control Z that. And let's go up here. And then you can change your coverage however you want. I think I kind of see here. Here we go. Let's do it like this. I think I was clicking on something I wasn't supposed to, so let's manually do it like this. I'll just click here. Then when you get something like this and you kind of like that, um, you can come over here and press apply. Um, you can adjust your smoothing first. Let's say I want it to set to four. Um, then press apply. You can see we have no subdivision levels. Press apply. And now we have our new object. Then we can adjust the subdivision levels. Okay, I'd pause the video and one last tip here before I go. If we go in the light box here and we got the uh, QQ bevel, we'll just select that there. And let me get the draw size down a little bit. Turn on polyframes. And we can go ahead and use the Z model around this. And every time that I extrude something, it will be bevel. Turn off the center here and click, 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 and click. And them settings are in the dynamics subdivision. And thank you very much.